Welcome to Silicon Valley Nonprofits, which is a service of KMVT Community Media. My name is Bobby Chastain, and I'll be your host. Today, our guest is Ladrea Clark, who is the volunteer coordinator for Community Services Agency. Thanks so much for coming by, Ladrea. No problem. So, uh, tell our viewers just what does CSA offer the, the community? What are their services? Um, we offer a support to um, low income, homeless, and elderly clients in the community. Um, everybody's low income, of course, but um, we um, have different programs to suit each need, individual need. So it sort of functions as a community safety net, right? Safety net, yes. So um, some of the programs are, uh, you, you have things for, the se for seniors, mm -hmm. you have a uh, holiday program, and then something you've been very involved with in the last however many years Twelve is years. the 12 years mm -hmm. with the, the, the pantry. So can you tell us about that program? Yes. Um, so it's uh, the most used um, program. Everybody who is a client at CSA, we use the food pantry. So, um, well, most everybody. And we've set it up like a store so people can shop. And um, we have different things on different days um, as uh, the clients like to, <laughs> to um, line up and have uh, uh, their um, uh, basically, anyone who needs is in need of food yeah. can, can come to you and, and, and get what they need, right? Yeah, they they actually line up and kind of have like social time. Is what I was trying to say. Oh, yeah, right. And this so would, this would be on the volunteer side of it. No, this is actually the client. The volunteers oh. do it too, but the clients come early and line up like two hours early, and they have they actually so socialize bef while they're waiting for us to open. So that's interesting. So people who come to the food pantry because they need food, and it's kind of set up like a grocery store, but also serves sort of as a community center for, for these people. Yeah, while they line up, yeah. Well, great. So they come in and they shop um, and get the things that they need or don't need. We um, have some fresh things and we also have some non-perishable things. Right, so and KMVT has participated in the food drives to, mm -hmm. to get it to the pantry. And, you know, it's always the thought where I think we need non-perishables, we get canned goods and so on, but that's right. not always the case, right? You take fresh food as well? We take fresh food. Um, we, we've had people who have their own gardens bring us gigantic squash, tomatoes, all kinds of things that whatever they grow. Um, Google Garden um, brings their stuff, onions and things. And then we have, um, we also receive donations from the farmer's market um, every Sunday, um, Mountain View and Palo Alto Farmer's Market. We also receive um, from Hidden Villa, you know Hidden Villa, the yeah, farm yeah, okay, in, yeah. yeah. So um, it's seasonal. Um, until they're not growing anymore. So, but we get lots of nice vegetables, and the clients love the fresh. Yeah, that's great. And so you get all this food, and some of it's fresh. It seems like this would become a lot to manage, to, to store, and then distribute, right? So mm -hmm. is that kind of where the volunteers come in? Yes. So we, if without the volunteers, it would be really difficult to, for us to continue. Um, the staff do most of the heavy lifting, but um, the but the volunteers do the sorting and the restocking the shelves and um, doing cleaning and you know minor cleaning and things like that so that's what we need volunteers for to help the pantry run smooth and so even th so the customers that come and use you as a grocery store socialize and I imagine this is a, a good chance for volunteers to do the do the same yes yes it is so um, once uh, once the food comes in and um, you know, you're storing it, and then the distribution is, can they come by any day of the week, or, or is it scheduled? Um, so all clients can come Monday through Friday, um, once a day. We have different things, so mon like Monday and Friday, we have pasta, dry beans, and rice. And then on Tuesday and Thursday, we have canned food. So they come for the different days, so they can get the different things. And when is the fresh food? When can they get um, that? Every day that we have it, we have fresh food. Um, we don't want it to go bad, so we put it out right away. And who's eligible to, to be the recipients of the food pantry um, stock? Anyone who lives in Mountain View or Los Altos um, can can be a, um, eligible to be a client as long as their income fits within our standards, our low income standards. And so how can someone get uh, a hold of CSA to become either a volunteer or to, to receive food from the food pantry? Um, you can, they can go on our website and, and see, you know, get our phone number, call and make see when they can come in. Um, when's appropriate because we don't we, we do appointments so um, but they can drop in and make an appointment and then if they drop in we usually give them a, um, 
uh, temporary card so they can get food from the pantry and um, and then they when they make their appointment then they get the, the regular card. Well it's just awesome what you guys are doing for the community and I hope that our viewers can uh, find a way and, and get involved either as a volunteer or if they need help to, to right. seek them out. So thanks so much mm -hmm. and thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Silicon Valley Nonprofits. Bye bye. <laughs>